it was the first class that I was teaching. I was teaching Algebra 2 Trig, and I had a student who came in, and she was coming from one of the large public schools here in the city. She had failed Algebra 2 Trig at her school, and she needed to pass it so that she could graduate from high school. The first day she came in, she sat down, had never met me, and said, I hate math. Very vehemently, I have not heard anyone say that to me as a first response ever in my career, before or after. And so I was aware of how, how much this really meant to her. And over the course of our work together, we worked for a semester going through our Algebra two curriculum one-to-one. -one. And I, I didn't treat her with kid gloves. I didn't coddle her. I made her go up to the board. I made her answer the questions. I made her get through the material as uncomfortable as I knew it was for her. But we were in a room by ourselves so we could get through and she wasn't worried about what other people were thinking about her. And I came to realize that's what had happened at her large public school. She was one in a classroom of 30. She would get called up to the board by her teacher when it was her turn, she would go up, she would not have any idea how to answer the question because she didn't have a chance to talk to the teacher outside of class. She didn't know anyone else in her class to help her with the material. And so every time she went up, she'd get nervous and she would not answer the problem correctly. And in her mind, everyone in that classroom from the student sitting next to her to the teacher were all laughing at her every single time she went up to the board. Of course she's not going to do well in a larger classroom setting. By the end of our semester together. She comes in to me, it's the beginning of May, and she says, Marin, guess what? I only have eight days of class left before I'm finished with school. And I said, it, you know we actually go all the way through to the end of May, right? And she said, oh, I'm not talking about this. This isn't a class. For someone who had been so vehemently against math and doing this in the first place to come in and not fall in love with math but not be afraid of it anymore, that to me was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm.